Salute. What is up, everybody? My name is Advance, and this is Advance Sports Talk. So, wild, wild card weekend has officially passed. And I gotta say, there was only uh, one divisional team that actually didn't maintain their spot. But we're gonna get through, we're gonna get to that in a second. So, first off, I would like to toast our division rivals. Playoff rivals, actually, I'm sorry. It's not alcoholic. It's (laughs) Coca-Cola. But, toast nonetheless. Because, like I've said, any Tampa Bay championship has to go through Philly. Now I feel like whatever happened from here on out, if we make it, we actually got it in earnest. Because this was a fade that needed to be run. You know, and I couldn't have thought of a better team to do it. So, I'm gonna get into the. Uh, I'm gonna break down the scores in a second, but let's uh, let's get into this. All right. So first off, I'm gonna say every single team or every single game this weekend started with a landslide. Like there was no team. There was no team that was um, where it was like competitive from the start. Man, because. The Bengals started off dominating the Raiders. The Bills started off dominating the Patriots. The Bucks started off dominating the Eagles. The 49ers started off dominating the uh, dominating <laughs> Dallas, <laughs> the Cowboys. The Chiefs dominated the Steelers. And the Rams just flat out annihilated the Cardinals. And man, so we get to the stats and the score breakdown in a second, but yeah, I just had to had to go over that. So, all right, hold up. Um, all right, so this is the official playoff results that we got here. All right, so the Bengals now go on to face the Tennessee Titans. That's going to be a shootout. Actually, both AFC teams' um, matchup is going to be a shootout. And then you got uh, you got Josh Allen and the Bills facing Patrick Mahomes and the Chiefs. Oh, man. And then on the NFC side, let's see. We got uh, Tampa Bay Buccaneers versus the L.A. Rams. Sweet revenge. <laughs> and then we got San Fran toppling Dallas to go up and face Ram... Uh, uh, I was about to say Rambo. Face Aaron Rodgers in Lambeau Field. Oh, man. So, the, the way that it's looking, we could we could see a rematch of last year's championship game. So, but getting ahead of myself, let's talk about this game. So, Bucks versus the Eagles. In the start, like I said, like I mentioned before, the uh, the Buccaneers like just jumped out to an early lead on on Philly, and just like I don't know, it just seemed like whatever game plan Philly had said that they was gonna implement, they just went away from it completely. They barely even tried to run the ball in the first half, and like I don't, <laughs> oh man, and then. What made it even better, I mean, what made it even worse was the fact that we got so many people back for this game. We got Shaq Barrett back. We got JPP back. We got Levante David back. And, man, we didn't get Richard Sherman, but we got Coach Sherman, (laughs) who, oh, man, like I could say... Like like his tutelage on the uh, on on the secondary showed because on this fade route or go route to uh, 
Devontae Freeman, I mean, De- not Devontae Freeman. On this go route to Devontae Smith, like, I really thought that once <laughs> once the corner fell down, that that was it. That was, that was going to be a touchdown. But no, here comes Mike Edwards out of nowhere. Now, you'll remember Mike Edwards from uh, week two or week three. Where he caught the um, he caught the the pick six, the two two straight back to back pick sixes, man. <laughs> oh man, like I swear, like he popped up out of nowhere, like uh, who? <laughs> oh man, that was just good. Um, that was good defense on the safety, and man, it's man, it's crazy. So in the second half. You know, they kind of got back to their game plan. They started running Miles Sanders. You know, they started hitting, they started hitting Devontae. They started hitting Goddard. Hold on, let me, let me bring the, let me bring the big three up real quick. So, (laughs) there was one hit where Jalen Hurts completely missed Devontae Smith. And I'm so glad that he didn't catch him because like Devontae would have only had one person to beat on the outside and if he would have arm tackled him he would have took it all the way to the house that would have been six and that was yeah it was a it was a very enjoyable game to watch and I'm not just talking about because of the domination in the first half or whatnot but nah man like so Sirianni they said that uh they said that uh that Nick Sirianni had was showing the Eagles like different like little uh, inspirational videos uh, one of them was like when Rocky was on the mat and they had to you know he had to get up he had to get up off the mat um, they didn't say which movie it was from cause I don't know plug in plug, plug in any Rocky movie <laughs> like where he, he fell down and had to pick himself back up one two three four like <laughs> oh man but yeah, and they were saying, like, they was even making jokes going in, uh, you know, approaching halftime, saying, like, man, I hope, I hope Sirianni has a, has an inspirational video for this, uh, for this second half, like, <laughs> but, oh, man, no, nah, nevertheless, nevertheless, even though the Eagles lost this game, they still won. Reason being is because of the deals that they made in the past. And they got three first-round picks. Furthermore, the rumor that's coming around, or that's co- the, the rumor that I heard, was that there's a certain receiver that's looking for a fresh start or a change in scenery. So, the question that the Eagles have to ask, not ask themselves now, are we going to go into the... 2020 uh, the 2022 draft with three first round picks or two because word down the pike says this guy in the middle here is looking for a fresh start (laughs) so yeah do I put it past Jalen Hurts to recruit another Alabama receiver to the Philadelphia Eagles, man, I, I absolutely not. I would not put that past him at all. Like, <laughs> like man, but uh, that would, man, that would be like the the addition that pretty much that pretty much kills it. <laughs> that yeah, if the Eagles get Calvin Ridley. Bye bye NFC East. That's, <laughs> yeah, so I mean it's just it's gonna be a slugfest between them and the Cowboys for you know for however long that is. But look, I'll tell you this though. Calvin Ridley or not, this is your future. Stick with this. Like, trust me. It ignore the quarterback controversy and <laughs> Man, because you know, they showed a stat during the game, and I didn't even know that that was the stat until I until they, they showed it. So, Jalen Hurts 
I think they said lead the league in rushing yards for quarterbacks. And he, hold on, he leads. Um, I have to look it up. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put, I'm gonna do that in a future video. But yeah, they said he leads. He has the most rushing yards out of quarterbacks this season. And Tom Brady has the most passing yards out of quarterbacks this season. It was I can't remember what all three fields were, but it was it was three fields, and they were each first in their respective fields. So man, like yeah, that that's that's gotta be that's gotta be dope. And the fact that the Eagles even made it still a miracle. There's some Eagles fans that I talked to that didn't even believe that they was gonna get in. It, you know, there were sports analysts that said that, that the Eagles weren't going to get in. And lo and behold, here they are. They made it to the stage. So, but in any case, nah, man, like hats off to the Eagles for um, for a good fight. Good heart for it. Uh, Vic, no, it was a hard for it. Uh, for game or effort in the second half. So, you know, they cut that, cut the league in half. They cut the lead in half in no time. But, unfortunately, our defense was able to hold up. Uh, Tom Brady did not let off on the on the gas. He just kept scoring. Mike Evans even did a uh, did a Deshaun Jackson slash Lamar. <laughs> did a Deshaun slash Lamar Jackson, like, uh, flip into the end zone. I'm just glad he held on to the ball. <laughs> like, uh, I don't know. Now that I think about it, when I look back on it, he, he was probably falling forward and just had to give himself that extra little umph so he can get into the into the end zone. But oh man, that was a that was a great game. All right, so next, even I, I had talked about it before, we're gonna talk we're gonna talk about it again. All right, so right over here in this uh, middle section, right there, we have. San Francisco 49ers versus the Dallas Cowboys. And man, let me sum up. <laughs> let me sum up the um, the reaction, the overall reaction to this game. <laughs> oh man, I'm sure every Cowboys fan felt like this <laughs> throughout um, throughout the game. Now, this chick was sour like at that, but once she saw that she went, that she was on the uh, on the th on the, the Titan Tron or Jumbotron and she was going viral, yeah, she perked up. <laughs> but man, like no, the look on her face is definitely like, man, my girlfriend dragged me to this game. <laughs> oh man, but all right, let me let me let me stop picking on her. Let me stop picking on her. I pick on that. <laughs> so this picture is pretty much synonymous of what the whole game was like. Cause like the one thing that Dallas had going in their favor was that they had a line. They had the offensive line, and that offensive line got bullied. By the by, the 49ers front four, like oh man, like swim moves, rips, sp spin moves, everything. Like yeah, Dak had zero room to breathe at all. Like now, they were able to cut the lead to a touchdown, but unfortunately, due to some very poor clock management, and you know they weren't able to, you know they weren't able to. Um, to finish up so there was some controversy with uh they said a ref no a ref collided with Dak while he was trying to line his team up and they didn't set the ball right or yeah so long story short they ended up running out of time now the the play before this they ran a quarterback draw not a uh, scramble, scramble, scramble. Oh shit, nobody's open. Let me run for it. No, it was a design run. And they had no timeouts. And yeah, I don't. I didn't get that. I didn't get that at all. Like, but. 
Yeah. So now it's a case of uh, you know there's a case against the refs because they're saying that the refs poor management uh, or poor or poor field management or whatever led to them running out of time and they were supposed to put time back on the clock, but you know unfortunately it didn't happen. So yeah, like and then like in typical <laughs> in typical did I do that fashion? As soon as the clock hit zero. The rough, the refs booked it. Like, <laughs> like they left. They they dipped out of there fast as I don't know what, man. But I don't know. Who knows? We'll see what comes of that in the um, in the days to come. It's Tuesday right now, and I, all I'm hearing about is the the controversy. You know, by now they would have made a statement. <laughs> but you know, by the time this video is posted, it'll be Wednesday, and maybe there'll be something else. But I do remember that there was a point where, you know, the refs had made a, a brutal mistake with us. And it, actually, it was during our our last winning season. Not last year, but the, the winning season before that, back in 2010. Uh, like, when, you know, back when we had, like, the dream team, we had – we had uh, – Josh Freeman, we had Kellen Winslow before he started trying to assault seniors. Uh, we had, who do we have? We had Mike Williams, not the Mike Williams from the Chargers, but we had Mike Williams. But man, we had a, we had a team. We had the, it was the, the Morris, Raheem Morris dynasty. So ultimately the game that kept us out of the playoffs was Josh Freeman threw a corner through a corner fade to Kellen Winslow. Kellen was locked up with a uh, with a uh, corner in the end zone. All he did was let go of the corner, turn around, and catch the ball. And the refs called that a push off. So that touchdown didn't count. We lost to Detroit, and that was the one game that we missed the playoffs by. And we lost to some. Uh, some BS tiebreaker to the Giants so but yeah so I know the, the refs are not above reproach but I don't know but yeah this is uh, yeah this is pretty much how Dallas is well hey shouts out to Jimmy G he's taking his uh, his first step back towards uh towards another Super Bowl. But hey, they got to get through Lambeau and that's going to be a fight. Believe me. Believe me. <laughs> so. All right. So, now back to the back to the the, um, the board. Actually, let me go ahead Go ahead to the ESPN website. Oops, hold up, I'm looking up some photos. All right, so as I've stated, we got the Bengals or the Raiders and the Bengals. Bengals won 26 to 19. Yeah, Raiders tried to fight back hard. Like I know, leading up to the half. Uh, they, the, the score that I saw was 20 to 6. And, man, and they had gotten a touchdown since then. But, all right, so we got Derek Carr, 310 yards, one touchdown. Josh Jacobs, 13 carries for 83 yards. Jamar Chase, nine receptions for 116 yards. Man. Yeah, so like that, yeah. I already knew that if they got into the playoffs, the Bengals was going to be problem. They was going to have problems with the uh, pe- the Bengals was going to be trouble, like because yeah, Joe Burrow and Jamar Chase are like man. <laughs> like as long as shit, as long as Joe Burrow is healthy, the Bengals are going to do great things. I said that last year. Next, Buff- the, the um, New England Patriots versus the Buffalo Bills. And 
the Bills was terrorizing the Patriots. <laughs> oh, man, like, it, it was not even funny. So we got Josh, uh, Josh Allen. Who's that? Three hundred and four yards, five touchdowns. Man, he wasn't playing around. Devin Singletary got two rushing touchdowns. Dawson Knox, five receptions for eighty-nine yards. Man, like yeah, New England just couldn't get get it clicking. I guess the the stage was too big for good old Mac Jones. All right, so Philadelphia Eagles versus the Buccaneers. We talked about this before. Score was 31 to 15. Tom Brady, 270, uh, hold on, 271 yards passing, two touchdowns. Keyshawn Vaughn, 17 carries for 83 yards, one touchdown. Mike Evans, nine receptions for 117 yards and one touchdown. And man, like, yeah, Mike Evans went off. That's why I don't understand why people were saying that we was in deep doo doo because we no longer have Antonio Brown. Screw Antonio Brown, who is now trying to walk back the comments that he made. Like, no, you weren't misquoted, sir. You said that. <laughs> well, no, nothing was taken out of context. You meant exactly what you said. <clears throat> All right, so San Francisco 49ers versus the Dallas Cowboys. Yeah, 49ers won 23-17. to So we got Dak Prescott. It was at 254 yards passing, one touchdown. Who is that? Ah, Elijah Mitchell. Sorry, uh, let's see, Elijah Mitchell, 27 carries for 96 yards and one touchdown. Dalton Schultz, seven receptions for 89 yards. And listen, I'll tell you this. One thing that, I know they said that Shanahan was a rush, uh, a rushing genius, or the Shanahan's, or I know Kyle, Mike Shanahan was. Not Kyle. Kyle is uh, Kyle's proficient at running the ball as well. But yeah, man, like, <laughs> no, nah, like, look, they've been using Debo Samuel, a wide receiver, as a as a as a rusher, as as a running back. So, in fact, I think he has he led the league in rushing yards for a receiver. So, hey, the, he got that. They got that little, um, that little plaque he can hang on his wall now. So, hey, and you know, hey, Jimmy G managed a great game. <laughs> so, even though like Dallas came back, they, you know, they was once again it was too late, and then they had that poor clock management at the end. So, hey, next. We got the uh, Pittsburgh Steelers versus the uh, Kansas City Chiefs. And this score was exactly cut in half. 42 to 21. Chiefs favor. Patrick Mahomes, 404 yards, passing five touchdowns. Oh, J.D. McKissick, 12 carries for 61 yards. Travis Kels. Nine receptions for 100, what is that, 106 yards and one touchdown. Man, like, hold up. So, hold up, watch. Look at this, man. Flipped it underhanded. Man, making, making the Steelers look dumb. Corner. Whoop. <laughs> Double move. <laughs> oh, K 
Kels. <laughs> or Kelsey's or whatever. Oh, <laughs> tackle eligible. <laughs> Look at this. He said, get off me. Actually, he could have got... <laughs> Could have got hit with holding on that, but hey, I guess since he was a uh, tech, since he was uh, technically a receiver, I guess that would be considered a bump and run. I think this says, uh, oh yeah, Tyreek Hill. You already knew that wasn't gonna be a game where he don't get a touchdown. So yeah, like man. Like yeah, it was it was concerning because in the beginning, you know, the Chiefs was start was trying to run like trick plays and stuff. Look, you don't got to do all of that to beat Dallas. Uh, not Dallas. You don't got to do all of that to beat Pittsburgh. Like just just knuckle up and play football. Like point blank, but man. All right, so now we got the L.A. Rams versus. The, no, I'm sorry, did it backwards. We got the Arizona Cardinals versus the LA Rams. Rams won 34 to 11. And man, and it's crazy because with all the offensive talent on that team, Arizona couldn't get nothing going. Like, run game. They would um, actually, like, James Conner didn't actually play until the second half. So, oh man. What we got Matt Stafford 202 yards passing and two touchdowns Sony Michelle I think there's 86 car um, 86 yards rushing Cooper Cup five receptions for 61 yards and one touchdown like, hold up watch this watch this Screen pass to Odell Beckham Jr., who then passes it to Cam Akers. Like, <laughs> oh man, like, that's crazy. And this is what we got to face next week. Bro, this week coming. Mm, Cooper Cup snagged that before it hit the ground. Highlights. Yeah, so despite them having, uh, despite the Cardinals having, uh, having uh, JJ Watt back for the game, they still couldn't, you know, couldn't manage to stop the Rams. So, all right, looking like it's going to fall to us. But in any case, so. This is your lineup going forward. So we got the Titans and the Bengals. Ugh, it's gonna be a shootout. I don't know what that. Uh, the Titans ain't ready to play. That could be in the Bengals' favor. I'm gonna go ahead and say. Go ahead and say that the Titans. I'm gonna call the Titans on this one. All right, Kansas City and Buffalo. I'm gonna call Kansas City because I don't think Buffalo will be able to stop stop that offense. So my main pick for winning the AFC was shut out in the first round. So hey. So, yeah, 
Sorry about that. I look like I look like somebody's drunk uncle for a second. <laughs> Switching back and forth is between screens, I guess. I don't know. But yeah, this is your this is your lineup going forward. Yeah. Let's see. I already called the Titans. I'm called uh hmm. You know, I'm gonna be dangerous. I'm gonna call the Bills in this game. In the Chiefs game. Now, on this side, first off, down here, you already know, I'm rocking with my team no matter what, regardless the odds. Uh, what do they have us at? Oh, snap, they got us at three-point favorites. See, they got the Titans as three and a half point favorites. And they got the Chiefs as one and a half point favorites. All right. And then, last but not least, we got San Francisco at Lambeau facing the Green Bay Packers. Packers got six points. Uh, they got a six point advantage, it looks like. So, man. I'm gonna, uh, strictly offensive talent. I'm going with Green Bay. Yeah, I, yeah, they got a. Uh, they got Aaron Rodgers. They got Aaron Jones. They got AJ Dillon. They got Devonte. Uh, I keep saying Devonte Freeman. They got Devonte Adams. As you know, when your name is Devonte. You have no choice but to be the fastest receiver on your team. Your name is Devontae. <laughs> so, yeah, we're gonna. Um, it's gonna be a good weekend coming up. All right, so that's it. That's my breakdown slash prediction slash congratulations slash honoree. My name is Advance. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe on everything. I'm out.